Senator Elizabeth Warren officially announced she is entering the presidential race. That announcement got a quick response from the president. ABC's Tara Paul Mary has the backlash that Trump is now getting. We need to take power in Washington away from the wealthy and well-connected and put it back in the hands of the people where it belongs. In the bitter cold, Senator Elizabeth Warren officially announcing her candidacy for president in front of more than 3,000 people. The senator laying out her plan for 2020 with a promise to fight against income inequality. This is the fight of our lives. The fight to build an America that works for everyone. The announcement for the presidential hopeful comes as she looks to move past renewed backlash over her claims of Native American ancestry. Just last week, the Washington Post obtained her 1986 Texas bar registration card, where under a race, she called herself American Indian, a claim she's made for almost two decades. But Warren issued a private apology to the chief of the Cherokee Nation and said this on Capitol Hill. It was based on my understanding from my family's stories, but family stories are not the same as tribal citizenship. President Trump has repeatedly referred to Warren with racial slurs, taunting the senator on several occasions to prove her heritage. Tweeting late last night, will she run as our first Native American presidential candidate or has she decided that after 32 years, this is not playing so well anymore? See you on the campaign trail, Liz. And that was ABC's Tara Palmieri reporting. Warren, of course, not the only Senate Democrat to throw her hat into the ring. Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey, for one, spent the weekend meeting with voters in Iowa. Of course, you have our own Kamala Harris here in California. And Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota is expected to announce her candidacy today.